All right. God bless your hearts real good. Praise God. We're glad to be here one more time. We thank you for, uh, 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 well, we thank God for the opportunity in the open door to witness for him. For he's the door that opened no man can shut. All right. And we thank God for that. Now you read that in the book of Revelation, see what they're referring to. <laughs> so we thank God for the open door. You can't shut us up. Hallelujah. All right. Let's get right to it. We greet you from God the Father and from his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is alive and now set on the right hand of the Father. God the Father sent the Son of Jesus Christ into the world to take away all your sin. He died on the cross. His blood was shed for the remission of your sin, to clean you from all your sin. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Matthew chapter 26. Begin with verse 26 and read on down. Luke chapter 24, verse 44. Romans chapter 3, Acts chapter 3, verse 17, 18, 19, Acts chapter 2, verse 38. His blood is for the remission of your sin. His blood clears you from all your sin. <laughs> and in return, you go and sin no more. You keep his commandments. He gave his spirit, the new birth born of his spirit. His spirit don't have sin and don't lead you to sin. So you walk after his spirit and you won't sin. His spirit ain't leading you to sin. So but to where when you get ready to sin, you already know you're wrong. Ain't nobody got to call you out. My God. Now, Jesus require you to repent. You want to see it took away. You want to see it washed away. Jesus require you to repent. Believe him. He's alive. Faith in his blood. For the remission of our sins. To clean up from all sins. He's faithful to do it. First John chapter 1 verse 9. Call on him. Hallelujah. He will do it. And you walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You walk in the newness of life. All right. Pray God. That, that, that's on me. That, 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 that's on me. I, be, I better go there. You, you walk in the newness of life, not your old life. Give it, give it, yeah, Romans. Hallelujah, God. Praise the Lord. I want the book of Romans. That's on me, so I better get that. Romans 6 and 6. Ah, Romans 6 and let's begin with verse 4. Romans 6 and 4. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism unto death, into death. That like as Christ was raised from the dead. Like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the fall, even so we should walk in the newness of life. What's the newness of life? For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. He did no sin. <laughs> Knowing this, hear what you know that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth, from now on, we should not serve sin. Jesus said in the 8th chapter of John, he that commits sin is a servant of sin. Henceforth, we should not serve sin. But if the Son shall make you free, back in John 8, you shall be free indeed. 
Now he that is dead is free from sin. You know the hint for we should not serve sin. You believe him, you repent. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You, you call on him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hit four. Don't serve sin. All right. That was on me. I had to I, I, I had to get that off of me. All right. I want to talk about. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You say it ain't public. You say it ain't that we all got sin. Ain't nobody without sin. You serve and sin. Jesus said, don't do it. Be free from sin. He and the son said, free and free and deep. Don't serve sin. All right. I want to talk briefly about the deception of church. The deception of church. Uh, people always, Satan always, the entire world, you know, Satan instituted church buildings. Satan instituted church buildings. God instituted only one building, and that was during the Old Testament, <coughs> the house of sacrifice that Solomon built. That what it was, a house of sacrifice. Well, that era is over. <laughs> but men always, Satan always had built. Satan instituted church building. It told you to go to church. In the entire world, every sinner going to church and feeling good about themselves. Let me read something to you. Corinthians 3. Hallelujah to God. Corinthians 3. Hallelujah. Corinthians 3. And 9. And we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry, and ye are God's building. You God's building. Tell you. 16. Verse 16. Corinthians 3. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? You the temple. Huh. Then he said, if any man defile the temple, him will God destroy. Sin defile the temple. You better repent. You better call on Jesus to cleanse you from your sin. Take your sin away. You the temple. Let's get that. The temple that Solomon built. Hallelujah. Before then, and David wanted to build God a house. And God said, who told you to build me a house? I didn't tell you to build me no house. The Ark of the Covenant, hallelujah, praise God, it, it dwells in tents. Which is the New to the Old Testament. Where they offered sacrifices and all that kind of thing. Oh, read Hebrew chapter 9. <clears throat> and I was going to read today in 1 Samuel chapter 5. When they took the Ark of the Covenant, they stole the Ark of the Covenant and they put it in the temple of their God. And when they came back the next morning, they idol was toppled over. <laughs> they thought, well, the doctor of the covenant is just like any other God. Many different gods. It's just another God. Well, but they, they God was toppled over. That's in 1 Samuel chapter 5, verse 1. 
Praise God. <clears throat> Do you not know that if you read the scripture, you, to, you hear talk about Jezebel and Ahab, they were leaders in Jerusalem, in Israel. They were the leaders. Yeah. Baal, that was in Israel. Israel brought all them other gods. And they made groves in high places where all the other gods be, be placed. And where all the other gods be worshipped. And the prophet, when you got a true prophet that came in, or a true king that came in, they tore down the grove, tore down all the high places. They tore down the whole houses. Read about Hezekiah and other kings, a few other. They tore down all that stuff. One verse say, but but told them the prophet told Israel. How to put away your idols. All them other gods. But church, the deception of church, church is an idol. Church building. The entire world go to church. Every sinner, every ungodly go to church. And Satan, Satan instituted church buildings. God ain't instituted no other church. God never instituted a building. The only building he instituted, that was for the house of sacrifice. That's all the one. You pastor that say God told you to build him a house. You a line one. You build a, you build a house for the people to come in. Wait a minute. Wait. Jesus said they're going to put you out of their synagogues. Do you not know that Jesus preached in their synagogues? The apostles preached in their synagogues. That wasn't Jesus' church. Their synagogues. Where hypocrites congregate. It feel good about itself. It, it touch, look, touch history. It, it, the church building history. Constantine started that mess. The Catholic Church. Uh huh. Read your history. Church building. God ain't told nobody to, to get a church building. Yeah, hallelujah. So they go to church. They did some song tell you, go to church somewhere. They're talking about the most segregated time is 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. At church, 11 o'clock on Sunday morning, haunted G of church, they segregated. G of church, they segregated. All are welcome. Jew and also the Greek. <laughs> G of church, they segregated. Uh-uh. That's your building. That's y'all building. Pray God. <laughs> now, it's a reason for the segregation. Now, don't, don't play no games. Pray God. Evil went on. And they had to separate because of evil going on. Church. The deception of church. Satan set up church, church building. So you can go there and feel good about yourself. So you can go there and feel that you're doing God a favor, and doing yourself a service, and, 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 and feel that you're right because you go to church. Some say, give God some of your time. The deception of church. The deception. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every false prophet go to church. Every sinner go to church. 
and no change. No God forbid priest there. But they go to church. And feel good about themselves. <laughs> Pray God. Every president, oh, he going to church. The queen, oh, she going to church. The prince, the king, oh, they going to church. Prince Harry, Prince Philip, Queen Elizabeth, all oh, church. The deception. See, they used the the, the Satan you just to, to deceive you. But Christ just is pushing with his own blood. God don't dwell in temple made by man's hand. That's scripture. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Church. Go and tell you you are right. Go and tell you to take a beer. Go and tell you to be baptized. Go and tell you to put some ash on your head. Go and tell you to make the sign of a cross. Uh-huh. But the deception. Church don't save you. But that's the deception. I'm going to church. Look, and I'm act right while I'm in church. <laughs> yeah. I'm act right while I'm in church. The deception of church. Church is not salvation. God didn't authorize no place of worship. They that wish me shall wish me in spirit and in truth. Uh huh. That's what he told that woman. Hallelujah. He said, in mountain noise and rulers shall you worship. But God is a spirit, and they that worship him shall worship him as spirit and truth. Hallelujah. Church. They, you feel church a salvation. You go to church, that don't save you. And actually, it's sending you to hell. You go to church, that's sending you to hell. Look at all these devils going to church. The devil put him a pastor up in the church, in the bishop in the church. The deception of church. You must be born again. A watching spirit. Come here. Where was Jesus church? I wait. Where was Jesus church building? I wait. I wait. I don't need to say nothing else. Now, don't get me wrong. It, 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 would, wouldn't it be a blessing if all the people that come to the cathedrals and the storefronts and the mega churches in? Wouldn't it be a blessing if they heard the gospel of Jesus Christ? Here what it happened. A lot of it will leave. Now, anyway, the deception of church. Church don't save you. The church is not the building. Thank you for being.